Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me with my new makeup routine, which um, I mentioned in a previous video. Um, I've made the switch to using mostly uh, cream-based uh, makeup products. So cream-based like uh, stick concealer, um, blush, bronzers, and this look that I'm gonna do today is no foundation. Um, and in previous videos and through much of my adult life, I have been a big user of Bare Minerals. I do still like it, um, but I don't know, something just kind of clicked in me in watching other makeup videos and uh, being 52 years old. Um, I have noticed in photos and things that um, makeup just doesn't look good um, on my skin. I, I'm, as I mentioned, 52 years old. I do have oily skin, and um, it just, I could tell in pictures and things that it just added texture. It, it just didn't look great. And I thought maybe I should give um, some of this cream based with less fillers in it and more pure pigment. Um, if you've watched anything from, I think her name's Morgan Schick. Um, that, that's kind of where I got some of this inspiration. Um, and so letting more of my skin come through, um, and embracing some of the glow or the oiliness. And I have, I, what I can say 100% is that, um, I'm not seeing, uh, more oily. Like it's not, I don't look more oily. In fact, I look the same or less oily than I did with wearing, trying to like mattify my face. Okay. So enough talking. Let me get started so I can talk and get ready. And so that this video is not like nine hours long. And I will say I've gotten tons of compliments recently on my skin. I do think a lot of it has to do with, um, diet changes and the way I eat. Um, which if you're interested in that, that can be a whole nother video. So I have lost uh, somewhere in the 40 to 50, maybe more pounds. And, um, eating much differently. And I think it has shown in my skin. Um, and also I really try to make an effort to get daily sun when the sun's out, which is out today. Yay. Um, so let's get started. First off, I do use this. Um, this is probably my favorite primer slash moisturizer and it's by First Aid Beauty. It's the Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. And I'll put some of this on. And I don't know, it just has like a... I guess it's kind of like, a, it's not quite tinted moisturizer. I don't know what you have. I have a mirror over here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I put kind of a lot on. Um, find it gives kind of a nice, helps to even out just a little bit. Uh, texture. Well, not texture. Tone. And like the appearance of your skin. So you can wear it under makeup as a primer or like alone. Again, I'm not gonna wear foundation today. I'm going to go substitute teaching today. Not that anybody cared. For my under eyes, what I've been using recently is um, this, it's a uh, Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer in Light Medium from Believe Beauty. And this is from uh, Dollar General, that's their brand. And you can see it's a real peach color. Okay, so I just take my finger here and I smear some in the under eye area. I take this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination uh, Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. And I take the teeniest amount. And so let me just show you what I mean by teeny. This is probably even too much to get. Teeny, teeniest little amount. Yeah, I know I shouldn't use my index finger, but I dot in the corner of my eyes, okay? and I put it over the eyelid and the inner corner, or at least for me, is where a lot of the darkest discolor, or darkest like shadowy color is. So I, I use this in complement with the, okay, the sun's doing all kinds of crazy things. Uh, I think it works as a good complement to the um, other stuff I just put on, the peachy concealers or peachy, gosh, why can't I talk? Corrector that I just put on from Dollar General. They have a moist, uh, damp one, but this is dry and I don't feel like getting up to dampen this. So I will just tap this over maybe to help press it in and then pick up any excess because what I don't want is excess because excess product will crease. I'm convinced all concealer is going to crease. And so I choose to not 
put a bunch of powder on just to accentuate the creasing. I would rather like kind of fix, correct some of the shadowing and let it be. And I, I find it's okay. I will do a dusting of powder in a minute after I'm done with my eyes just to kind of brush away any fallout. And then that I kind of use that as a setting of my under eye, so to speak. On to face coverage. And the only two things I'm using today are these two stick concealers from CoverGirl. I've used these forever. This isn't anything new for me, but um, I have light and then I have the neutralizer, which I've talked about this in other videos. I love this for like precision covering of blemishes or anything else because you can really just dab the tiniest amount on and then it doesn't look like it's cakey covered concealer all over your face. I find, I mean, I would think normally I might be a medium shade, but this light one seems to work for me just fine. So I do a combination, um, no rhyme or reason, but I'm gonna kind of spot conceal where I think it needs, where I think I need conceal. I'm gonna lean in here to take a look at my mirror. You get an up close look. How you blend, up to you if you use a sponge, fingers work. Uh, I think for this, I'm gonna use just my, uh, that's not it, my concealer brush that I use from Tarte. I really like this one. So I just kind of blend it out everywhere. Again, I'm not trying to cover everything. I'm not fooling anybody. But this has worked well for me. Like even looks good in photos and stuff. And you know, I've got discoloration, I have all that, but I just, I've, I feel like this is a better look. I can't explain it. I feel like it looks healthier and um, it's working well for me. And it's quicker, honestly, and cheaper because I'm not using all of this like foundation and stuff. I do have a foundation if I want to use foundation. So what my go-to recently is this, I mentioned this before, this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation, but I'm not gonna use it today. Um, Cause the reason I like it, again, it's concentrated pigment, but I can use it very similar to these that I just used, like kind of spot conceal and blend it out or use it like just all over and, you know, for a, a coverage foundation. So it's that, I think, I think I'm good on um, concealer. So uh, next step for me is using this Bye Bye Pores It Cosmetics um, pressed powder. And if I use powder, which I can't quite give it up completely, I will use translucent powder just so I'm not at, sorry about the, maybe I should turn over here. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to find the best spot. Um, so I'm not adding any color to my face because that's what I'm trying to not do. So, and it's kind of nice too, because if you rub against anything, you know, or taking stuff off, you don't get all that makeup-y orange color because you don't have a bunch of it layered all over your face. So I will take the little thing, the thing, poof, thing that comes with it. And I just dab just a little bit um, right in my T-zone, um, just the littlest amount and on top of my eyes, because I usually have kind of a base. All right, so that's it with the powder. Um, this product I found it, I think I got it at TJ Maxx or Ross, and I really like it. I know this can be a bit, probably a more expensive product, but I really like it. Stila Cosmetics, Stila, Stila, S-T-I-L-A, I don't know how you pronounce that, but this is considered a convertible color dual lip and cheek cream, and the shade is Camellia. And this is what it looks like. And I don't use it on my lips. It's not really my, what I would use on my, a color I would use, but I mean, you do you. I found this brush from Real Techniques that is a expert face brush that's the right density for these cream products. So um, I will just pop this in here and use it as a kind of a bronzer, idea. I'm not going to contour and all that today, but I just like how this goes on. I like how it looks. I, it's a kind of a fresh look. So I'm, I'm not so much brushing as I am kind of stippling, I guess this. And bring that down and up. Kind of think about where sun hits. And that's where I would add this. The last couple days have not been sunny, so I haven't gotten my 
daily dose of sunshine. All right, and then um, the other thing I'm gonna try today, I just kinda do whatever. I, I know I got this at Ross, this Lime, the brand is Lime Crime, right? Yeah, <laughs> Sunkissed, and the shade is Beachy Keen. They had several different shades, but you know how they have everything locked up at Ross, so I couldn't look, I just kinda took a stab at it. It rolls up like a deodorant, but kinda nice, you just brush it sweep it on for a little like i'm sure there's different colors just kind of a glowy highlighty color um so i just like the packaging and everything on that um another fun product i only found these on I, I think maybe ulta carries them but i got mine on amazon so again it's hard to pick shades on amazon but this one is blush it, i guess these are considered blushes but this one is called beach bums or peach sorry peach bums 801a and they're just stick like you can you know put it on and you can use that same where's my brush fingers or like a blending brush um to add a little bit you i think you can get some that are more like highlight color different shades all that um I naturally gravitate towards some of the peachy colors because I think it suits my skin tone. I just got this at Family Dollar, the LA Colors Cream Gel Blush, and it was like 50 cents, perfectly pinched. I don't normally put all this blush on, but I just wanted to try this today. So, so I might like stop with this, but I just kind of want to see how this goes on. It's a, like a, ooh, like another peachy peachy bronzy color. So I'm just going to use my fingers here and add that. So again, um, just cream stuff. And so you see, I got kind of a glowy peachy bronzy color kind of going. I might put that up there across my nose. I like the sun kissed look. All right. Um, so moving on, this is this is easy for me because it's quick. Um, this is definitely not any full coverage. So for eyes, I'm gonna stick with kind of the cream look. Uh, I'm gonna use two products I've had for a while. These are these Revlon um, Colorstay Cream Eyeshadows. And um, the one shade is, it's right on the front, sorry, Caramel 710. And the other one is Creme Brulee. 705, Ooh, sorry. And then I may play around with this e.l.f. Uh, no Bud Shadow Stick, um, just kind of along, along the lash lines in the shade Bronze Metal. So let's dive into this. The thing about these, these are, if you've never used them before, I had a hard time figuring out. It's like it's a pot eyeshadow that's cream. These do have a hint of glitter. There's a little brush in the lid. Hold on, let's see what? Okay, my hands are slippery. Hold, please. All right, there we go. It slides into the top. <laughs> the brush is a little wonky, but I actually use the brush. So um, I'm gonna swirl around and I'm gonna go across my eyelid and up above the crease with this. So I think this two combination, I saw this, I believe I saw somebody use just this caramel color on TikTok once, just all over. I'd never use these, but man, this this was a great find. Um, it's like such a wearable color for so many people. That is my clock, it's not my doorbell. But it is such an easy, almost foolproof, you can't really mess this up. So up above the crease. now. You can like take this on the edge and go under, but I'm not gonna do that today. Um, I'm gonna use that shadow stick I have, I think, in a minute. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter color, the Creme Brulee 705, and same thing. First time I ever used this, I could not figure out the lid situation, but. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put this inner corner meeting up, kind of blend out the top. Now, you could go like above here a little bit if you wanted. I guess I will substitute teaching, but hey, nothing wrong with a little brow bone highlight while you're subbing, right? Okay, and then I actually take 
um, a brush just to kind of blend it all out because I'm a big believer in blending. So I just kind of take this and run over it just to make sure there's no hard lines, harsh lines. Okay. I am going to, uh, along my top lash line only, line with black. Sometimes I use an eyeliner. Um, sometimes I use a dark shadow because um, I have this little brush that I like to use. Um, where is it? That is really, really like pointed that I can really get in there. So, um, and this is Black Ebony Tight Tight Line Cake Eyeliner from Laura Mercier. I had it for a while. I don't know where I got it. So it's just black. Um, now I'm going to just really get up in there and along the lash line. My goal here is to not look like I have black eyeliner on as much as it is to accentuate my la accentuate my lash line. Okay, so that's all I do for lining my eyes, so to speak, is and I always kind of brush up. I know I probably shouldn't do that. Um, just to, you can use a, like a sponge too, if kind of create, make sure everything's aimed up. We want everything aimed up at our age, right? So that nothing's dragging down. I don't do like winged liner. I never have, it's just kind of not my thing, but nothing wrong with that. If you want to do that, I am going to try, like I mentioned, this e.l.f. Um, no budge eyeshadow stick and bronze metal. I'm going to do it right on the top lash line, um, just for a little something extra. I really like the look of um, like a, a dark in the corner eyeshadow look. I think it adds such great definition and dimension, but uh, I'm doing this today instead. Take my blending brush, if I can find it, there it is, and just, okay. All right, we're almost done are done well with the exception of mascara so this is where i will take a little bit of powder just to kind of brush away anything that fell off and kind of set the under eyes so i'll give them a nice little tap press out any potential creasing that's probably already there and today i'm just going to use this rimmel stay matte loose powder again this is transparent so no color um and i honestly i don't even get much in there i just, just gotta use what's in the lid um and take a little brush, tap it off, and just kind of brush away and set. Okay, so same thing, brush away, that's it. That's it. And final step, oh shoot, setting spray. Um, oh, well, no, I gotta do mascara. I'm not kidding. Let me, uh, let me go grab my setting spray. Okay, so for setting spray, I'm still finishing up this bottle I have of Wet n Wild Care Bear Get Through the Night Setting Spray. Um, I found it on clearance at HEB Grocery here in Texas one time. So a little bit of this, and then I actually brush my eyebrows. That's all I do to my eyebrows. Okay, that's on. I have this little spoolie in an empty container that I use to uh, do my eyebrows. I've kind of world's craziest eyebrows. Anyway, the current mascara I'm using is um, LA Girl, Flat, what does that even say? Um, big and Bold Mascara. I made that way too complicated. Okay, um, I'm not, I'm not too, I just kind of get mascara wherever. Although I'm kind of thinking I want to try some of these ones I hear a lot about, like the Either is it the telescopic or the sky high? I don't know, one of those, but right now this is what I'm using. So I have to use a mirror. Sorry, or I'll have it all over the place. Oh, I guess I should say I only do the smallest amount on my bottom lashes. I don't, I like just to kind of keep everything up. So that's mascara is done. Final step is lips and i'm going back to one of my favorites this is so worn it's a wet and wild the shade is sunset peach um number 512b don't know if it's still around i think it is but this is just 
for my skin tone, I just think it's a really good color. And I, I, I love Wet n Wild makeup. It's affordable too. Okay. Uh, I do have a little gloss that um, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild also. And this, I think it's a good compliment to um, this lip tone, although this is called Strawberry Ice. It is a very peachy color, in my opinion. So um, I'm gonna just top a little bit of this. All right, let me go fix my hair and I'll be back. Okay, so this is it. This is the completed look. It's very much an everyday look using mostly cream-based products, no foundation, not a bunch of powders on my face. So I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me and I really hope you give it a like. And if you wanna follow along on my journey um, and be notified whenever I do put out a new video, please consider subscribing as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.